friends, it's Tammy and Laura with week three of story time for at home learning. And guess who came to see us today? <gasps> Itsy Bitsy Spider. He came to say hello to each and every one of you and tell you we're, we miss you, but we're glad you're home safe. He wants to sing a song with you called Itsy Bitsy Spider. So let's go ahead and look at our book. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Nice job, friends. The next, our story today is called Silly Sally. And it's written by Audra Wood. Let's find out about that Silly Sally. Silly Sally went to town, walking backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a pig. A silly pig, they danced a jig. Silly Sally went to town, dancing backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a dog, a silly dog. They played leapfrog. Silly Sally went to town, leaping backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a loon, a silly loon. They sang a tune. Silly Sally went to town, singing backwards and upside down. On the way, she met a sheep, a silly sheep. They fell asleep. Now, how did Sally get to town, sleeping backwards and upside down? Along came Nettie Buttercup, walking forwards, right side up. He tickled the pig, who danced a jig. He tickled the dog that played leapfrog. He tickled the loon who sang a tune. He tickled the sheep who fell asleep. He tickled Sally who woke right up and she tickled Nettie Buttercup. And that's how Sally got to town. Walking backwards and upside down. That's it for Silly Sally. And that's it for our week three of At Home Learning. We hope that you're all doing well and uh, we miss you. And we'll come to see you on week four of our At Home Learning Storytime.